Right. Pretty nice day. I'm just putting in some hoods. Got a whole bunch of units. Uh, these are the new Lennoxes. Some of them came insulated, some of them didn't. Um, I got a service call here in a little bit, but I just want to show you guys this. This new Lennox Prodigy controller. It's pretty cool. Um, one thing you have to do with these is you have to go through a set date, time, and just hit enter, 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 and then you can go into your test mode um, and hook it up. If not, it will not run if you do not go through the settings and save everything. So just a little little buggy with that one, but we've got a service call coming up here in a little bit. Um, probably raining out in Boulder, so. But we're going to get to it, rock and roll, and I'll uh, see you guys in a little bit on the service call. All right, later. And you like that? I got my mini Hulk. That's what I am. Mini Hulk. Strong man. All right, anyway, so we got a call. Uh, finally getting on the way to that service call. Um, we got no cooling on RTU number three, so let's get over there and see what we can find what's going on. All right, guys. Just get on the roof. It says RTU three. No condenser fan motor. Woo! Bad boy is hot. Oh my goodness. Alright, so it looks like we're gonna have a bad condenser fan motor, but let's go ahead and check her out. Let's see what we got going on here. Get the phone set up. On the way over here, they said that it came up here and that the unit was really, really hot. I told them to shut it down. Obviously, it wasn't shut down. That's okay. So, um, if you ever had a customer and the unit's super, super hot, um, and they're telling you that the unit's really, really hot to the touch, make sure you tell them to flip that disconnect if they're comfortable with it. Um, just tell them to stand to the side, flip it down, um, or pull it, whichever way it is. I was hearing vibrating. Okay. Things like that kind of trip me out a little bit. I'm like, was that my unit or no? So, all right, let's get this bad boy unbuttoned. Usually I use that UEI one, but this is kind of my go-to, the HS36. Um, I've had this meter for close to three years, and it's it hasn't failed on me. I mean, it's solid. I've dropped it off three stories, picked it back up, and it works fine. Uh, same thing with my UEI, the DL479, uh, 429. Uh, I dropped that one off two stories, picked it up. It was just fine. So, But this is kind of my go-to. It just fits a little better in my bag, that's all. Since I have power off, I'm going to check this capacitor first. So you're going to put... Man, I have flimsy today. Put the microfarads. Let's take one of them off. Make sure these are nice and tight. Tighten those up. Tighten it up a little bit. And you can kind of squeeze the sides together like that. And this way. A little tighter, so check this cap and see what we got. Just to be certain, it is a 
la 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 la. 25. Oh yeah, trains usually use 25s on their uh So that's good. Cap's good. Got a nice view. Super nice view. Alright, so capacitor is good. Leave that there for a second. Okay. All right, so normally what I'll do is I'll just grab a screwdriver, come over to the fan motor, try to spin it. So it spins. So we got to see if it's the fan motor that's bad or if it's the, the contact or the control. Um, and I think this one has a relay for the condenser fan motors. It could be wrong, so we'll find out. All right, condenser fan motor. Or is that combustion motor? Hold on, that's combustion. My bad. Should be ODM. So, outdoor motor says CF1. Um, CF1 is the outdoor motor capacitor. So there's your wiring, and it's going to be controlled by a contactor. The DC1 contactor. So, I'm going to take these uh, screws out right here real quick and we'll tune right back in. Order the fan motor. It's a 460 volt uh, 2.5 amp train. Um, so, it's coming in tomorrow. Get that swapped out, but that's at least a diagnosing video. So, uh, I'm going to go over. We're going to do the computer uh, with the tracker train set points on this building. See if we can uh, get this building to function properly. Um, we've got a whole bunch of set points that are out of whack and I can't change them from the controls that are there. I have to use that crazy old computer. So uh, I'll fire that bad boy up here in just a few minutes and uh, we'll get onto that one. So rock and roll. All right. On the way to this uh, tracker train call, see if we can get these set points adjusted. Figure a little shot of the road. Pretty nice out, cruising. You know, how we do. Alright, tune back in here in a minute.